Hey everybody, Bash Venture back with another video. Like, finally. I can't believe it's been so long. Everything that I've been doing has gone wrong recently, and the depression has maximized for a little bit. So I apologize. I haven't made videos like I should, and I think I'm going to use this as the specific tool to work through my depression. Because I found out, you know, doing work helps with the depression, feeling uh, any, any measure of accomplishment helps with my depression, so I will show off a few things that have gone right, gone wrong, and, uh, you know, what's been going on, I suppose, kind of quickly in my life. Uh, as you can see in the background, I have, well, first and foremost is this lovely desk I made, well, storage unit and desk. You can fit totes underneath. I'll show it off later. But, you know, standard totes if it goes down that one. I need a better tripod, I need a better camera, I need better lighting in general, but that'll be for another story. Today is about this problem, this problem, and what you see off camera is hopefully not a problem, but still a fun problem. Hopefully it'll be just a fun problem. Anyways, so my standard little DC power supply, what happened is I, for some reason, had an absent minded moment and I switch, sw swapped switched my positive and negative cable and has fried when you turn it on it does all kinds of squippy things which I'll show you later and uh, I'm gonna take it apart and figure out if there's any way to repair it if not it's time for Amazon or eBay to get something else I don't know because my recent experience with Amazon is this get this out of the box here. What this was, was supposed to be my way of making my own lithium batteries, like properly. There is a key to what it might be. in this nice styrofoam packaging and a pretty thick box uh, and this was supposed to be a little tiny spot welder but the problem is is that it, it broke it, I, I don't know it really broke in shipping I don't know what happened I'm not entirely sure I don't think these are supposed to go in and out I can actually hear what's what's supposed to happen is that there's supposed to be a specific distance they're supposed to not touch because you're going to have electricity running through these and you're supposed to be able to hold batteries and just click it on which you can hear a, a button it does click so it might not be completely screwed inside of there that being said There's a lot of broken shit sounding in there. So I'm also going to take that apart today and figure out what's going on. Now the good complication is down here. And here, this big old box, is theoretically a 1000 watt 26 inch bicycle electric motor wheel, uh, bicycle hub electric motor wheel. How do I say that right? Electric bicycle wheel hub motor. God, I cannot figure that out. Anyways, this goes on the front wheel of my bike and uh, it is a thousand watts. Uh, starts off at 750, but it can be up to a thousand, which is technically illegal in my area. And uh, yeah, so this is uh, gonna be a fun project. <clears throat> All right. So, with any luck, that'll actually go well. I have to open up the box and find out, which you'll have to find out in a future video, because I'm not going to do it today on this video. See, I'm going to delay it out. With any luck, I'm going to take that apart now, do a video on it, maybe a little unboxing see how it was actually shipped to me 
and uh, we'll see how that goes and maybe some taking apart electronics in another video I don't know but in any case I actually have videos planned so on that note I'm gonna say till next time this has been Bash Venture and I'm just gonna show off my desk alright figured I'd show off my desk down here is where you would just store some totes up here is another level which you can store totes on but I just have my boxes of crap I need to organize and random electronics and uh, hopefully like a workstation with you know more totes and everything that I'm currently working on and with any luck I should be able to keep this clear